hello guys in today's video i will be showing you how to create this dispersion effect in photoshop so without more ado let's get started and before that if you're new to the channel don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe so you can see amazing content like this okay here we are in photoshop so this is my canvas size it is a ratio of 5 by 4 so I move over and drag in my model I'm going to resize it okay after that is done you have to add a background color to it so I'm going to add a gradient background to it I will go with the black and white change the style to radial make sure the light part is in the middle okay that being done I'm going to lock my, my background make this layer visible so I'm going to duplicate the layer into two by pressing ctrl j on my keyboard or you can right click and choose duplicate layer so now i have two layers over here of the same model right so the first layer i'm going to rename it to model and the second layer i'm going to rename it to liquify so after that is being done i'm going to hide the model layer I select the liquify layer I move over to filter I select liquify okay now on the liquify menu I'm going to increase the brush size so increase your brush size and the pressure and start doing this so first of all I'm just going to I'm just going to turn off this show backdrop so I will not be distracted so this is what you are going to do so do it to your satisfaction and when you're done you can click OK So here we go so select the liquify layer you move over to the max icon you hold out on your keyboard and click so it creates a negative max so now make your model layer to be visible you add a, a max to it and then you move over here select your brush tool so you right click and this is the brush we are using explosion brushes so this brush is the link is down in the description below or you can also check it out on my telegram channel which you can also join my telegram channel because i drop a lot of stuff there so link in the description below so i'm going to select the 003 this is a brush okay after that is being done i'm going to go to window menu I go to brush settings so now I have the brush settings here in case I want to change the angle of the brush I can be able to do it easily so this is the size and this is uh, the angle so make it a little bit smaller because we are going to like erase some part of it so make sure your foreground color is black so rotate your brush angle and make sure opacity and flow is at 100% and then you start doing this so if you have cleaned it too much you can still change your foreground color to white and then you reveal it
Okay, there we go. Now select the liquify layer max. You, you select the same brush that we're using. You change the foreground color to white and then you rotate the change the brush angle. Increase the size a little bit. And you start painting it out. So at this point you have to play around with your brush size. There are some parts you need to be big and there are some parts it needs to be small. If you want to erase some part, you do the same thing, change the foreground color to black, then you change your brush angle. Okay, that's it guys that's how to create it so we are not yet done we have to add some some few touches to it so make sure you take your as much time as you can to make it look good and good to your taste but before that we are going to add a little color balance to it you can use um normal the normal color balance so you click here on the adjustment layer you choose color balance so here you can play around with some few stops If you are satisfied with it then it's nice and if you're not satisfied with it you can come here to the adjustment layer you go to gradient map and here you add a bunch of stuff you click here you have some presets here you can add some something like orange color to see how it looks like so after that you change your blend mode to soft light is better but you can try out other blend modes because all of them are wonderful so i'm going to go with soft light and reduce the opacity a little bit you can see the before and after i can see if you add this it looks amazing so go ahead and play around with it as you can and see you in the next video There you have it guys, I hope it was helpful. If it was, please do the right thing by subscribing, sharing, commenting and liking the video. And don't forget to follow me on social media. The links are in the description below. And see you in the next video. Peace out.